Welcome back to the Dividend Diplomats YouTube channel, guys. You've got your boys, the Burt, the Hurt, and Lanny from the Dividend Diplomats, guys. And we've got to look at two dividend growth stocks that you guys have been asking for in the comments over the last few weeks. Bert, I can't wait to finally talk about two stocks that we rarely talk about. Bring it, everybody. Subscribe to the channel. Give this video a thumbs up. Lanny, is this a dividend showdown here? A little is dividend this? showdown. Yeah. yeah, let's get the showdown. We got yeah, the showdown, we haven't, guys. We we haven't had the – we have not had one in a while. It's been a hot minute since there's been a showdown. Yeah, Bert's singing his stand. It's been a while. Yeah, um, I was going to go search to get my, my belt buckle, maybe. Hmm? I don't, I don't have a belt buckle. I. What does the belt buckle mean? I don't know. I don't what's know. The, what's the benefit to the belt buckle? Is there ever not a benefit to the belt buckle? Guys, we're doing a dividend stock showdown. Two investment management firms coming into the celebrity death match ring, the dividend death match ring. You can call us the dividend diplomat death match kings over here, Nomad Cardona. Um, we are not talking about T. Row price so don't worry we're not talking about black rock either but these two stocks have over a trillion in assets each one has 1.5 trillion just about in assets the other one has almost 1.7 trillion in total assets under management two large investment firms one has a little bit of insurance as well as bert knows about mm -hmm. the other one is just a pure asset management firm yeah um, we're going to go side by side stock metric by stock metric um you know in yeah. fact i want to put the market cap in these as well. Yeah, well while you're doing that i'll explain how we do it we run them through our stock screener which focuses on three metrics and a couple bonus metrics here price to earnings ratio less than the s p 500 payout ratio less than 60 percent then we look at the third metric the history of increasing those dividends where we look at that five-year dividend growth rate and the number of years that you are increasing those dividends and then we trickle on down the road we look at the bonus metric that dividend yield and we compare it to its five-year average dividend yield you know it's funny because these two stocks again are 11 billion and only 41 billion a piece so pretty small in comparison yeah. now only. To other, only guys we're talking about first off the very first stock we're talking about franklin resources mm -hmm. ticker symbol is ben and then we're talking about Prudential, ticker symbol PRU, um, two large asset management companies. Again, you know, one has done very well recently. One has not done so well recently. Mm -hmm. But, you know, again, both have very similar stock metrics in a sense. Um, so we really wanted to put them side by side to see if one of them is a stock to buy for your stock portfolio. Yeah, this one's going to be a fun one. As you said, a lot of people have been asking, especially with those yields climbing up here. We have some high yielders too and some big bangers here. Which stock do you want in the showdown, Lanny? I'll take good old Ben. I'll take Ben Franklin. All right, I'll take Prudential. Why don't you kick this one off then, Chico? All right, guys, let's start with the price to earnings ratio, which again talks about the valuation of the company. Are they under or overvalued? We usually like to look for below the S&P, which is probably around 25X, but we're going to compare it to their competitor here. So Ben trade at $20.68 as of August 22nd. Forward earnings, $2.40. So you already know it's below 10. Because yes, it is at 8.6 times Ooh. forward right now let's see what prudential does their price is 115 dollars and 24 cents that earnings per share 13 dollars and 33 cents oh oh also below 10. Oh, oh. you're a wise guy over here huh yeah. so both at 8.6 is really yeah that's absolutely right so obviously both check those mark and i'd say that's a pretty even first battle there doesn't get much better than that it doesn't get much tighter than that so Ben Franklin, Franklin Resources on the payout ratio front, pays 31 cents per share per quarter, dollar twenty-four per share per year, 51.67% payout ratio. 51.67%. That is sweet. That is right in the middle of our oh so sweet. Perfect. Dividend rail. Climbing a little bit. Climbing a little bit. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's what happened. 
Prudential's dividend is $5.20. That gives you a payout ratio of 39%. So, hey. All right. <laughs> you take both, it easy. I know, but both pass the 60% threshold. It's not a, this one's more of a pass fail, in my opinion. It's, they're both doing great. They both check. And sure, 50%, it bends higher than Prudential, but both are great. We would be happy with both of those on an individual stock basis. Brent's like, I love it. I love you, Cleveland. Yeah, um, I do, do love you, Cleveland. As a matter of fact, to get, yeah. to get into that next metric, that dividend growth, guys. Now, interesting with Franklin Resources, you know, all the sites are saying that their streak is only four ish years and an average growth mm -hmm. rate of about, oh, I don't know, 4%. Mm -hmm. um, if you guys are seeing something different, please let me know out there. Um, that's from Seeking Alpha and Dividend Investors. Um, mm. I wonder so, if those those special dividends that they yeah, it's the special because I thought that they were a dividend aristocrat or even a dividend king, but um, well, I don't know. Well, let's go with hey, we're gonna say they're 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 over four, close to five years. They do a special dividend every once in a while. Um, their last special dividend, if we scroll through their history, was back in 2018. They gave a $3 special dividend then. Um, and then they also in 2014 did a 50 cent special dividend. And then in 2012, another, th I think, $3 dividend possibly. Yeah, so that's so, probably messing up the aggregator sites as they're going through this. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So they have a long history of pain and a history of growing dividends. Yeah. All right. Let's see what Prudential does. 5.73%. They've increased that dividend for 15 plus years. So a pretty solid streak for Prudential. That is that is very good for Prudential, a company that is not discussed often enough here mm -hmm. in the dividend investing community, guys. No. Um, not dividend enough. yield, though, for Franklin Resources has swelled up because they are down. 29% this year. So that yield is a boiling 6% right now. Ooh, 6%. Prudential's yield is only 4.51%. Only. 6%. I say that joking. Yeah, that Ben yield's getting pretty high. Now, the five-year average is 473. So they are trading 1.27% right now higher than that five-year yield average. Yeah. That'll happen when you're down 29% year to date. Prudential's five year average yield is 5% on the money down. Um, it's actually so their yield's below their five year average. Yeah, they are growing faster than their dividend is growing. Let's just say it like that. Um, yeah. so, so, so we'll put them side by side. Then again, 8.6 PE, 52% payout. 4% dividend growth rate, 6% yield, down 29% this year, mm. down 21% in the last five years. Mm. What about PRU? Mm. PRU, down, oh, oh, sorry, up 10% year to date, up 27% over the last 52 weeks, and up 45% over the last five years. So which stock bird... Okay. Do you think any of these stocks are stocks to buy right now between the two? Who well, no, no. That's, who, who wins okay. between Ben and PRU? Who is the clear winner? Uh, see, this is what makes it tough. They, I think PRU is the safer bet because they yeah. have different channels of revenue. And they're growing. They're, they're showing that they have signs of growth. And you're right. They have different channels of revenue. Ben's just struggling. And I'd be curious in the comments what people say, do you use Franklin Resorts anywhere in your four? Like, how many people have, have some of those funds in there? Let us know. I'm curious. Um, yeah. Is could Ben be a takeover target? At 11 billion? Yeah. Um, I could easily see it. It's not that. Not that expensive, honestly. Does, so, does T-Row need to make a move here? I like how this is now back-to-back -back videos where we're making up mergers for people. Yeah. So I I so that, just, of, I was joking around BP in the last videos for people that were talking about that. So check that one out. I was saying BP. So, you know, though Ben has better metrics on paper, you know, I think the trend is probably not favoring 
been right now, just with the ease of money movement. Um, I think Prudential reduces some of that risk with the different revenue channels. And yeah. Prudential has solid metrics, low PE, yeah. low payout, great dividend growth, great dividend yield. I think Prudential is actually looking like a very good stock for anybody's portfolio. I own a lot of T-Row, so I'm going to hold, but yeah. um, I'm going to watch both of these. Yeah, I agree. I'm not running to get Ben. Um, it'd be interesting to see what's going on here. Prudential, I like it. Even though they're up, their metrics are still looking solid. Just because a stock's up doesn't mean it's not a value to buy today. So Prudential, we think wins this battle. What do you guys think? Is it Prudential? Is it Franklin Resources? Let us know in the comments what you think about this battle and which stock you would take in your portfolio. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. Give this video a thumbs up. And remember, you're either with us or you're against us, Jack. That was Bert, the Hurt, and Lanny from the Dividend Diplomats over and out.